Hello, this is Absolute Zero again, and I wanted to do another Let's Play. Um, this is a map uh, from the from the thread uh, Deity Please number four on the Civ Fanatic forums, and um, I didn't really like this map. Tell you the truth, it doesn't have any horses. I played through uh, I played through earlier, and I didn't find any horses, and I kind of like kind of like shelled it for a while and well now I'm I promised I'd do a playthrough though so I guess I'm going to do one somehow anyway um I'm playing Willem Van Orange who is one of my favorite characters he's a uh, creative and financial I think he's a very good character the only thing I would change is uh starting technology you know I'd change fishing to like mining or something like that um East Indian men the unique unit. Uh, I don't think it's all that great. I mean, it has it's four cargo space galleon, um, but usually by the time I'm launching uh, naval invasions, I have uh, you know, I have transports usually by that time. So uh, the dike though is very very good, very good. All you have to do is have a town by water, and you can build a dike. Doesn't matter if it's uh, on a river or anything like that. And, uh, extremely good. Also, nice with the, uh, Moy statues. So, here's the start. And it looks good, but, <clears throat> you know, animal husbandry, you know, it's kind of wasted because there's no horses. I mean, you know, this would be great if you could go animal husbandry, horses, you know, horseback riding, and, you know, take over the world, but no horses, so it's kind of like, yeah. You know? It would have been spectacular if it, there were horses here. I would have loved this map, but I don't, because there aren't. So... I'm going I'm going mining. I'm, I'm going to skip, completely skip out animal husbandry for a while, because I'm going to build the oracle. <clears throat> I know that sounds crazy. <clears throat> Ramassus. I don't know how many of you have seen those uh, videos on YouTube where uh, I guess George W. Bush is talking to, uh, uh, who's that British guy? <laughs> um, oh, I forgot his name. Anyway, whoever the, uh, the British Prime Minister was during the Iraq invasion when the British uh, got roped into uh, Iraq... Um, anyway, he's talking to that guy, and, uh, it's, it's, it's really funny, it's, um, he's talking about the, uh, you know, the leaders and Civ and all that kind of stuff. Uh, just, uh, type in, you should just type in, um, Bush and, uh, Civ 4, and I think you'll get it. You'll find it pretty funny. Ramesses the <laughs> second. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go immediately to a settler. I want to get another settler out before I build the oracle, which is actually what I'm going to do. <coughs> that's, why I'm, that's why I'm going this particular path. I don't have time to go animal husbandry. Uh, it would just waste a bunch of time. And I'd very likely miss the oracle if I went that route. I want to 
want to make sure this guy stays on there. Getting a lot of barbs this way. of mine to go ahead and defend here, but I'm, I'm not fully healed. I can't take it. Head back in here to heal. What I really want to keep the barbs from doing is taking my gold mine over here, so. If they take that out, my whole Oracle thing is shot. Alright, now like I said, I think I'm, or, or did I say, I think I'm going to bulb alpha, or, or uh, build, um, t pick alpha with the uh, oracle. I think that's what I'm going to do. And you might say, well, why don't you pick code of laws? Well, I think, <clears throat> I'm, I'm not sure, but it seems to me that, um, if you pick Code of Laws, you're still going to wait a long time to get Alphabet. And during that time to uh, to develop your land, you're going to have to self-tech a bunch of crap. Unless you want to wait all the way to Alpha, in which case you'll be underdeveloped. And uh, that's a problem. So I think I'm just going to... Um, I think I'm just going to try and bulb... Uh, 
bulb alpha or get alpha with the oracle and then kind of uh, backfill everything with trades. <coughs> That's Frenchy. It's Frenchy. Come on, barbarian. I know you want to attack me. Don't be a wuss. Um, I'm not so sure about the settler. Yeah, I think we'll go settler. I think I think uh, for now. Well, yeah, maybe not. Another worker. There's no hurry for another settler. Not right now. Like I said, you want to generally... The target date for the Oracle is around... 1800 BC, but it depends, a lot depends on when you start building it. You know, if you start building it earlier, you can get away with a later date. But generally, 1800 BC, if, you, if it's any any too far after that, you can pretty much, you know, you're, you're really gambling. I'm pretty sure there's no way I'm going to manage to uh, pull off anything like uh, uh, like um, I don't know getting getting construction with the Oracle I think it's pretty much out of the question so I'm not gonna even I'm not gonna even try anything crazy like that. Um, I should be able to get animal husbandry in the next turn, theoretically. Go for Code of Laws. Code of Laws is awful tempting, but Alphabet helps me more right now. So, 2000 BC Alphabet is pretty good. And usually, yep, see, you can get lots of trades this way. You can really backfill text this way. Unfortunately, no one seems to want to trade masonry, though. Um, let's see here.
Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait to pull off anything funky. Now the thing I do not like about Oracle is that stupid chance for a great profit. That is so dumb. I do not like that at all. So, um... I'm going to build a library real quick and try to get, uh, try to get a, um, running two scientists as soon as possible to, to, uh, overpower that chance for the great profit. No one wants to trade me pottery yet, huh? He looks like he's almost a pottery anyway, so might as well. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're cool. I think I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, there we are. Boy, you won't trade any of that stuff. Now the big question. Aesthetics, currency, I think currency is the better better choice. Let me let me try to grow one more there. Yes, iron working and poly. I need poly. I need poly. Poly, I need you. 
iron working would be nice too. I don't think I'll be able to get it for writing. <laughs> I love his little tem temper tantrum when he doesn't like your trade. <laughs> Oh, Napoleon will trade. Oh, I'll bet you I could do this. Yes, I can. <laughs> Talk about picking it up on the cheap, man. Is that cool or what? There's some iron up there. Go check that out. Okay, now I'm, now I'm size 5. Now it's different. Okay. There we go, that's good. There. You know, I might want to grab that iron before somebody else does. Okay, that's a halfway decent sight, looks like, from here. Looks like the barbs are all gone. A lot of forests, too. Oh, I just forgot. I, I never hooked that up, did I? Just remembered. Ha 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 ha! No, I don't think so. Doesn't work like that, buddy. Get these idiots with those totally ridiculous demands like that. It's just, yeah, whatever. There's a time to give in to demands and a time not to. That was not the time. Looks to me like right there should be fine. Or, I don't know, we're maybe right there. Depending on how soon we need that wheat. Maybe we don't need that wheat all that soon.
Oh, you know, I completely forgot about this. There we go. Forget it. Seven turns. Yeah, okay. I, I do need another worker. I could also, actually, I could also use one more town over there to grab that. Eleven. All right, fine. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I don't negotiate with terrorists. Hopefully this will be a great scientist. If it's not, and it's not. Oh shoot! Oh, and look who got alpha, you little jerk. Um, shoot. Just my luck. Oh, well, that's that's a good question as to what to do with that. Um, if I settle him now... That's a good question, what to do with that. It would have been nice if that had not happened and I had gotten a scientist. Um, I'm thinking of, uh... <coughs> I'm thinking of the theology bulb for trade bait. Um, I'm not sure how long that'll be. It shouldn't be too much longer. I should be able to trade for masonry and then theology at some point pretty soon. <coughs> Um, and that'll allow me to definitely start some, start some trouble. So that's, I think that's what I'm going to do. That to me is worth more than, uh, you know, settling the guy. So that's, that's what I'm going to do. Let me get to, uh, uh, 
Oh, um, well, I got to road into somebody, don't I? Now, there's my horses right there with a certain someone. Oh, finally, Rosie will trade masonry. You little jerk. Really? No, really. Okay. Well, I don't. I don't call that a good trade, though. Does anybody have mono? Yeah, one guy has mono. Okay. There's really no reason to do that anymore. Instead, we get the settler out quitter, quicker, and all that good stuff. And I think I might go ahead and go slavery now. Didn't give him. Didn't give me a. Didn't give me a big bonus for that. What's, what's going on? It's our trade relations. Okay, I can definitely start some crap now. <laughs> yeah, I can start some crap now. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. As soon as I trade mono away, that is. You know what? I gotta start some crap with you know who. If I get him to please, oh wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Will he attack anybody? He might say we would have nothing to gain. Okay, so I can't. If I get this guy to please, I could I could have bribed him in on somebody, but uh, it turns out. He, I guess he's not close enough to really do that. I can do that with Napoleon, though. When I gift him mono, which should get him depleased, I can start a whole bunch of crap. Um, well, now the question is, nobody has, nobody has anything. I was thinking maybe aesthetics... I thought maybe horseback riding, you know, the whole, the whole thing. Math. Does anybody have, I wonder if somebody actually has horses for trade. No, not yet. I might be able to trade, you know, I might be able to trade for horses at some point. Might be able to trade iron for horses. I never got sailing, did I? We get sailing. When I get sailing, I might be able to trade with Rosie. And maybe Rosie has horses, possibly. <clears throat> does Napoleon? Napoleon does have... Okay, everybody has... All right, everybody has a religion. Now let's set this guy to explore. Horseback riding, question, is, should I go horseback riding, or should I go, should I go construction, what should I do, it's all a good question, I have no idea, 
we'll try, for now, we'll try, I guess we'll try horseback riding. Damn, we could go paper. We could go paper, maybe, uh... <laughs> try for a super early lib race, I don't know. Nah, I don't think that's going to work. Not without bureaucracy, it's not going to work. Yeah, let's go for the horses. Horseback riding, we have we have ivory, so at some point we'll be able to use horseback riding. Alright, good. Now let's see if I can trade with... I probably have to wait till next turn. Now let's give, let's give, let's give Napoleon this. Okay, then let's switch to his religion. Yes. Ramasses. Nothing to gain, nothing to gain. Rosy. Ramasses. Um, with theology, we should be able to bribe in... Yeah, we should be able to start lots of trouble. <laughs> oh, you're going to love it. It's going to be awesome. Thebes. Thebiness. Oh, goody. Okay, now the big question. All right. If I bribe Napoleon on Roosevelt, then Alexander on Napoleon or Napoleon on Ramassus and Alexander on Napoleon. I want to get like a full circle war here. Let's see. Let's see if uh Oh. Um It's possible that let's See here, who likes who? Um likes Rosie. Rosie Rosie doesn't like anybody. That is weird. <laughs> okay. Likes Ramassus. Ramassus doesn't like anybody. So Napoleon and I if at all costs I want to keep Napoleon and Alexander split up because they're the two biggest dangers right now. Um immediate dangers. So I want to keep them split up. The problem is the they're both warmongers, so they got that in first impression as a lasting one huge bonus thing. And I definitely want to stop that. I want to stop the Americans from teching too much. I know Rosie loves to tech. Egypt is over there, but he's not a problem. He's happy with me. He's not a he's not really a warmonger. Um, and, well, you know what? What do you want for this, punk? What do you want for this? A little bit more. Um, gee, this is it. See, the thing is, if I bribe, the fact that the French and Egypt have the same religion kind of bugs me a little bit, because eventually they might get to like each other. But if I, if I bribe the French in on Egypt, then that would be...
I think I'll do that. And then... So now here's what we got. <laughs> if I can get Rosie to please, I can bribe him on somebody. And get him in the game. I can't do anything with Sitting Bull. You gotta get Sitting Bull a little friendly to do anything with his, his stupid butt. Um, I might just go ahead and go. Okay, now let me do, uh, Americans still don't have a religion. I'm going to go see if I can spread, uh, Christianity to Rosie. If I can, if I can spread Christianity to Rosie and he gets, and he converts to Christianity, then, uh, that would really screw the Diplo up. Or, or Native America. Uh, and I could really break these guys up pretty well. And the game should be easy after that, if I can do that. And what should I do here? Oh, wait. Did I get horses? Oh, he won't trade, because he do not like me enough. Um, let me see if I can... No. Trade relations have been fair, but that didn't do it. wonder what he wants for those horses. I'd really love to do a horse archer rush. That would be like the ultimate thing. I'm sure he'd trade him for iron. to get these guys to uh, closer to feudalism, so I'm going to cool off on the monarchy trade. Ah, there's America. Ah, Alexander will trade math. Excellent. Superb. <coughs> oh, was Roosevelt going to trade math? Don't.
<laughs> um. Oh, traded with my worst enemies. Yeah. Doesn't look like I'm gonna get those horses, man. Cause once I once I convert him, uh, he's gonna he's gonna be even more mad. So that's a shame. It doesn't look like I'm gonna get those horses, so I might as well go for the uh, the good old good old rush, the good old uh, uh, elephant rush. That's too bad, but that's how it is. So, let's see here. Um, I can't do that, dude. Actually, yeah, should be switching to hereditary rule and something else. Okay, um, this should should convert America to Christianity, which should really screw up the diplo situation. <laughs> and I don't think there's any more bizarre, off-the-wall religions I can I can screw things up with. I might have to found a new one. I don't know if I should switch to organized religion, theocracy. Guys, religion would definitely give me a, an immediate benefit. There's no question about that. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I got a lot of buildings to build already. <laughs> America switches to Christianity. I can't do that, dude. They're my buddies. Uh, no, not yet. Oh, he's got annoyed all of a sudden. Oh, oh. He didn't like that one. I'm not going to spread my religion here. I'm sure Ramassus will uh, spread something there. He usually does. He's a he's a spreader. He's a spreader like butter. <clears throat> he likes to spread. So okay, what else do we need? Definitely need a barracks. Would be nice. Let's go ahead and chop that one. And yeah. Let's go ahead and make the big plunge toward construction. Did anything die down? Nope, still raging. Okay, raging Cajun. I'm sure he's going to get monarchy eventually. <clears throat> it's just a matter of time.
Now the question is, who should I backstab? My guess is the French, because he, he's already outgunned, two to one. Um, who's building wonders? Anybody building wonders? Oh, Egypt's building wonders like crazy. Oh, Native America's building some wonders. Egypt's out of control building the wonders, though. Not, shouldn't be too surprising, though. I don't know if I should really bother with a stable here. Actually, I know I shouldn't because I'll switch to theology anyway. So that's a waste of time. Yeah, I think I'm going to backstab Napoleon, a little nappy. Then I'll try and get Alex if I can. I don't know if I'll... Hopefully I'll be quick enough to start rolling through Alex after nappy. Oh, is there anything? There's nothing really to glean here. Really nothing to glean. No. Oh, wait. Somebody's depleted. Yeah, Ramasses. Pleased, cautious, okay. Somebody already had construction, but that's okay. <clears throat> uh, I do not think so. Nepolo will trade calendar. Napoleon. Can I build the... Oh, the Mausoleum of the Mazalos. You know what? I could probably chop the Mausoleum of the Mazalos. If I was clever. Which I am. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to put Nappy any closer to feudalism, so I'm not going to do it. I was thinking about trading him monarchy and getting that gold, but I think that's a bad idea getting him so close to feudalism. So I'm not going to do it. I've decided to try and chop the mausoleum of the Mazalos. If if I don't get it, then the gold will be nice.
Ah, yeah. Cool. Something totally worthless like that. Why? You aren't... Oh. No, I can't do that, dude. You know I can't do that, jerk. Don't ask me to do nasty stuff like that. Oh, I forgot to... Damn, I forgot to mine this place. Better quit screwing around over here with these guys. I don't like to whip here, but I wasn't I was working tiles that really weren't useful. <laughs> <laughs> 